welcome, welcome to round number six of Motoganda. Today I would like to talk about something which got released by German media like a month ago or so. And where there was also some news coverage about it and some fear mongering as well. I'm talking about the advice of the German government for the people to keep a certain amount of food and water and other stuff. Whoa. Other stuff in stock for emergencies. And when they started, basically, they started just a review of it. I mean, there were always those suggestions and those numbers up. But in 2012, they started to review it. I mean, it was, if uh, I remember correctly, it was like reviewed after World War II the last time up front so well yeah 2012 seemed like a legit day to finally review it again so nothing bad about that or nothing strange of course in the media it was already said like oh yeah it's now a war coming or it's now something happening or why they release it now like they all forgot to mention the study was started in 2012 but what is weird there I mean we have now 2016 so it took the agency a total of four years to come up with a list of what people should stock for emergency cases. I mean, if I should, should have to prepare such a list, what would it take? Like a week or two to prepare the list? Okay, then it might not be as accurate as the list from Germany is. But it would be already a list. And I don't get the point why it has to be that accurate. I don't have the numbers in mind, but it was like 4.7 liters or something like that per person. Like, why not round it up and say around 5? Like, well, 4.7 might be the precisely calculated number, okay, based on some formula or something but first of all how are you gonna stock 4.7 liter and the second thing what's wrong with stocking five liters instead but anyway it's Germany so it has to be accurate I'm actually wondering it was not 4.72 or something. Not even sure if it was actually 4.7, but it was something with a point. So, like, point whatever liter doesn't make sense when it comes to emergency the red lights. I don't like you. <laughs> yeah, you saw the cop. Yeah, guys, you see the cop over there? <laughs> he noticed it a bit late, I would say. Sorry, buddy, but that was definitely too late. But the cop seems not even to give a shit. <laughs> That's one of the things I like here, and why I'm here, basically. 
course, let's say, how you call it, relaxed approach on enforcement, or basically you call it non-enforcement. Nah, there are certain things which get enforced, but not too much, which is a good thing, at least for me. Got the first raindrops on my bike. So that means summer is going to be over soon, which over here is not such a big deal, fortunately. It's just getting wet. So anyway, let's get back to why you should buy emergency stock or I personally wouldn't even call it emergency stock. See, for me, it's more like a convenience thing. And since I'm German, also a kind of efficiency thing. So we all have to go shopping anyway, since we all need food, alright? But I personally don't really like going shopping too much. Here buying in stock comes in handy. Of course, if I go shopping for, or let's say, some canned vegetable, for example. For example, sweet corn. I really like sweet corn. And so I will need it anyway, every now and then, again. And if it's, well, it breaks, or not, nah. So if I buy it in stock, or be better to say, if I go and buy it, rather than buying one or two cans, why not buying 20, so I don't have to go again that soon. I mean, it's, let's, let's face it just from the completely non-conspiracy, just straight efficiency point of view. Let's go, let's say you don't live next door to a supermarket, but you have to go there. Let's say the way to the supermarket and back is like, what, half an hour? And then the shopping, like getting the shopping cart, getting everything you need, and so on, and queuing up at the cash, and and so on and so forth. Basically, let's say at least an hour, right? Sounds about right. Uh, so that makes it a total of one and a half hours. And why should that? Oh, it gets really wet and slippery. Why should I spend that one and a half hour shopping like every, don't know, every two days or every three days? If I invest just, let's say, half an hour in planning up front, so checking what all I have there and checking what all I want and making a list basically making a shopping list so I spent one a half an hour more which makes it a total of two hours then but I just go shopping every two weeks maybe uh, even less than two weeks uh, less often than every two weeks but let's say every two weeks. So I go shopping an average twice twice a month times two hours makes it four hours per month which I spend on shopping. If you don't buy in stock but you only buy the amount you need, like for tomorrow or the day after, or well, let's say for three days. Then you go 
30 days per month, division by 3 makes 10. So you go 10 times a month. Times 1.5 hours makes it 15 hours. So basically, shopping in bulk like I do, even time-wise, is way more efficient and makes way more sense. And annoys me less, of course. It's basically the same effort and the same time and the same patience I need to spend if I buy one can of corn, to get back to that example, or if I buy 20 cans of corn or 50. Well, that's it about it. So now you can go out and shop for the emergency or not, whatever you like. But before you do that, don't forget if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't subscribe yet, well in case of an emergency you can't subscribe anymore so better do it now. And leave anything in the comments which you like to ask, except for any emergency shopping list. I will put a link in the video most probably. But not in the comments, please. So, see you in the next video.